Hello everyone, I'm Awak. I'm Gamma Dev. And uh, we're going to give PO'd a try, um, which uh, you requested. You lots of people have requested Lots this. of people have requested. I've requested this just because this, this of all the, the 3DO first person shooters, this is actually my favorite. Uh huh. Sorry. And when to, and <laughs> no, no, that's fine. No. <laughs> actually, uh, to, to be truthful, um, when I first saw this, I said, wow, this resembles. At least uh, te technically, the game that I wanted to develop before I had to give up and start on Monster Manor. Yeah. Just the just basically an open uh, sort of a free form 3D space. I could not figure out how to do that, but these guys did. And uh, well, it's a well. This is a well. We should just start up and let's. Yeah. Uh, are you going to load a game? Are you going <laughs> to? Uh, no, I think we should start a new game. Okay. Um, but uh, I was. After we completed um, our last installment, which was for Phoenix 3, I went, I wonder if I still have the emails that I sent around for uh, all the commentary that I had on the game. And I did. Uh-huh. And uh, let's see, where is it? Here we are. And in fact, uh, they had left a lot of stuff around in the, in the lobby. There was, they had left a Starfighter 3000, uh, Phoenix 3, obviously. Oh, here's a demo level starting up it's playing itself yes. it's playing itself is it is don't it, have time to play with power <laughs> that came out around the same time as this uh the duke the duke nukem 3d mm-hmm let's see uh let's see battle sport he also left uh it was rich shane who was uh who was um coordinating development on all these uh but let's see what did i write about phoenix 3 uh, there was a general consensus that of what we saw of the game, just the first three levels of the side scroller, it was very underwhelming. Everything seemed sluggish. There's a very harsh outline in all the characters, enemy graphics, and the background music is unpleasant. There was a very great desire to be able to shoot in mid jump. The blood and guts got grins, as did the splash when you jumped into the remains. The demo button on the main screen didn't appear to do anything. The FMV got heckled, unavoidable these days, I guess. The frame rate was very nice, though. The second FMV sequence where he gets handed the gun fades out incorrectly. Seems to be endemic with Cinepak. Uh, and then I send another email. Uh, after that, it says, like, Our opinion has changed. After having gotten past the three side-scrolling levels, I made it to the space fighting sim. Very nice. Easily the nicest space flight sim I've seen for the 3DO so far. Why can't the whole beat game be like this? <laughs> uh, some felt the HUD colors were poorly chosen. The contrast made things too difficult to read. There's a brightness setting. How about a color setting? Utilizing some out-of-band techniques. Okay, cheating. I managed to get to the end game where you shoot at the carrier slash mothership. I hooked up with the other four ships, got a phaser weapon. I managed to blast the guns off the carrier, but I was completely unable to destroy the carrier. Phasers were locked on that little thing locked on that little thing on the bottom. I sat and continuously blasted for five minutes. Nothing. Side note, I was able to fly freely through the carrier like it wasn't there. Kind of cool, actually. Uh, other side note, before I went after it with the phaser, I blasted it with mines and missiles first. Maybe that had an unintended effect. Some of the video sequences stutter badly. In particular, Wakey Wakey, the asteroid maze of death intro, stutters a bunch. There's one sequence in the 2D scroller, I think it's in the space station, where you can get seriously stuck. It's at the bottom of a ladder you drop off with your feet landing below floor level. If you crouch, you're stuck. There was another bit in the mining area where it was a complete mystery to me how to proceed. There was a force fielded door that I couldn't get past. No switch was evident. Is it my imagination or is there no save game on this yet? <laughs> so. Dun, dun, dun. So, yeah. Um, oh, look, 3D map. Yeah, 3D map. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so yeah, so there's still got some, uh, still got some old material laying around for that. Uh, but we should probably start this game. Did you want to drive, or do you want to... Uh, well, you've been practicing. I, whereas, <laughs> whereas my... Uh... Yeah, so notice this has no FMV intro of any kind. Right. This no, is pure... Uh, I mean, this is maybe because these guys was probably the last time there was such a thing as a garage developer, in mm. the sense of this is... Uh, my understanding was, or my, and my memory is, that these were a few guys who were from Sun Microsystems. Really? Wow. Um, took their... Their knowledge of 3D, mm -hmm. and said, "Hey, let's make a game company." What and, if they were uh, working on the GX processor? 
It's and, about the right time. And according to Moby Games, they only did one other game after this, and it was for Windows, and it was published by Sega. It was called Vigilance. Hmm. That one I'm not familiar and with. And I think, it, if I'm, I actually remember at the time looking up, because I was, after playing this game, I was interested in, like, what they, I kind of was following what they were doing, if they were going to, you know, take their 3D engine, you know, and... Because that was right at the time when 3D engines were a novelty. Uh, yes, you had to do everything on your own. Yeah. Uh, uh, and this was one of the first... I think this even predates Quake. Uh, this is definitely... It's a full... What they call then Six Degrees of Freedom engine. As opposed mm. to like Doom, which is sort of like a 2D yeah. thing with with height built in. You know, it's mm-hmm. like a 2D map with height. Um, oh, yeah. yeah please. Play through all the levels. That's kind of cool. Oh, okay. That's probably must be what they filled up the disc with. Since they don't have, since there's probably a lot of space left on this disc, seeing as how there's no FMV because they couldn't afford it. Because <laughs> like, if you start a new game, you'll see, you know, right. the intro is basically uh, it's scrolling. T- it's a text transmission. It's, it's, it's a text. Still call, used today yeah. as, a, as a thing in game where it's like, well, we can't afford to have actors come in and do this. So <laughs> we will do it as a text log. You know? So I'm gonna play on easy. Please play it easy. Yes. <laughs> and here's our here's yeah. our text crawl. <laughs> and the so apparently you're the cook. <laughs> this came out around the same time as um, Under Siege, the Steven Seagal <laughs> classic, <laughs> where it's like he's he's quote the cook, but then you find out later he's really a special ops guy. Yeah. It's which basically at that time was Die Hard on a ship on an aircraft carrier, yeah, yeah. you know, or <laughs> Die Hard on a destroyer, or yeah, yeah. So it's like, oh, the terrorists have rounded up everybody who could possibly hurt them, except for the cook. Well, what's the cook going to do? Aha, well, little did they know, he's secretly, he's yeah. really John McClane, yeah. or, or at least Steven Seagal. And so that was a career high for Steven Seagal, and obviously was the inspiration for the backstory on this. <laughs> who's, who's, and the character's name is Ox. Ox, yes. Yeah. <laughs> So the only thing I wish I could uh, change on this is the field of view. I think it's a little narrow, hmm. but that's one well, way. Well, I imagine they experimented with it, and if you get the field of view too wide, that's when you get the real vertigo thing yeah. of, like, you know, it stretches too much. So the joypad. And also you're playing this on a widescreen set, so you naturally want to see more yeah. than what you are, are seeing in a 4x3 uh, Yeah. Aspect so le- left, right uh, turns you left and right, forward, move you forward. Backward moves you backward. Um, A jumps. Oh, and I appear to have annoyed somebody. And then B yes, tr- attempts to whack uh, whatever. I love the large sprites they have for your weapon and your hand. And, ah, there okay. And here's our first uh, couple of monsters here. Assy McGee. Yes. Uh, now, like I said, so I, I originally want, wanted to play the... Uh, the 3DO sampler version of this first, let's go we could take a look and see like like where they started and then where they ended up because that was something unique about the 3DO. I, I think that was the first where they had the uh they had samplers and so before there was the internet, or at least, you know, mm-hmm. internet that meant anything. Uh, you could buy hey, they so had us uh, denizens of Usenet find that insulting. <laughs> well, uh, we'll get to Usenet in a real, in a bit here, <laughs> but uh, where you can so instead of like downloading games, the, this is the first time you get because of the CD-ROM format. It's the first time you could have consoles that actually had demo discs that were at the time and they they weren't included with magazines. But 3DO had the idea of like let's sell them for like five bucks mm-hmm. and get like three, four, or five people to put demos of their game on there. Right. And so, you know, they probably made some some of these games probably made more money as demo discs than they did as actual titles. Um, but it was great. It was kind of like, you know, try before you buy mm-hmm. kind of thing. And if, like, you didn't have much money, you could at least get, you know, five demos of games. Play around with them for a while. And P.O.D. was one of the ones on the... Um, I don't think it was the very first one, but I think it was, like, maybe the second or the third one. And it was, they had not, fin- and that was the other thing is the game had not been finished at that mm, point. Yeah. So they actually took feedback from the demo and modified the game based on uh-huh. how people, per- you know, reading Usenet posts and, uh, and uh, I guess, I guess that was about the only source they could get feedback on at that point in time was uh, immediate feedback was uh, reading news groups on the internet, possibly even like email. Uh, yeah. But uh, because the uh, they they chose a middle level of the game, 
mm-hmm. but so it's like I think it, they you even have the jetpack in the demo, um, uh, and and I'll well, also certainly go, not here. I'll also go because yeah, this is right. The, this is a game that has a very slow progression in terms of letting you get weapon. You acquire you know weapons one at a time. You acquire sort of abilities one at a time, and you get the you get the jetpack about middle way through the game. And that becomes, and that's the point which I think it really takes off. Up to you know, up until you get the jetpack, I think it's it's somewhat slow and mediocre Mm -hmm. in terms of being a first person shooter. And that was like one of my regrets with this game was like I wish they'd had a stronger first couple of levels because I I know a lot of people I've seen people play this on the internet and they'll get to this part, particularly Mm -hmm. if it's a PlayStation version, they will get to this level and they basically will stop because they're like, ah, lame, I've got a frying pan because you don't. One of the, the the things about games is your player should feel fairly powerful at most times, unless it's a survival horror game. You should you should you should feel like you're the biggest badass in the universe. Mm-hmm. And when you start off here, you don't. No, you just have a frying pan, and that's it. You have a melee weapon, and so you're you're being very careful with your health, and you're being you know. Yep. You're moving rather slowly, and then you Very start picking, you st- and then like around sometime around here, you'll get down to the lower level, and you'll pick up uh, your first range weapon, mm-hmm. which is the throwing knives. Actually, it's a throwing hatchet, but All right. is it a hatchet? I thought it was more of a butcher's it's knife. A, it's a butcher knife, yeah. Because yeah, he's a cook. He's not. A... <laughs> Why would you have carpentry items in space? Uh... <laughs> but yeah, he's starting off with the tools of his trade. You know, he's starting off with a frying pan and some knives. Yeah. Infinitely respawning knives, but knives nonetheless. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> Spawn as many as you like. Top Chef Spade. <laughs> but, uh, uh, and so these damn. first weapons you have are these little... How do they get knocked off? Enemies are these little dogs. They're sort of like two or three-legged dogs. Hello. But anyway, in that, uh, that, first, that first demo, it started off on a nice middle level. It had the jetpack, and... The main monsters were those uh, those walking butts. Yes. And the walking butts in the the 3D sampler fired when they fired at you. They made a very obnoxious farting sound, and you could just <laughs> tell that these were like you know Come developers in their young twenties. Yeah. At that time, that was at the, the time that Beavis and Butthead were at their absolute peak of popularity mm-hmm. in terms of you know. Both, you know, hey, media, know let's make. media backlash about, you know, oh, they're teaching kids to set things on fire, uh, that, that bogus controversy that they uh-huh. had. And they had their own video game, like, was it Beavis and Butthead's Virtual Stupidity or something? Mm-hmm. I think that was for the PC or something. <laughs> yes, I think we actually had that in the lobby. I think I had that, and I put it on the machine in the lobby, and we were playing through, <laughs> through that game. Uh, but, you know, you could just hear, like... In, when, I, when I was playing that sample, I could like, literally hear in my head the developers going, <laughs> they fart. <laughs> <laughs> they fart. <laughs> and, and yeah, it was funny for the first, oh, like, walking fi- ass. Exactly. It was funny. F- there we go. Yep. Got it. It okay, was funny. So now to change weapons, you double click on C, and then the available, t- so we got the frying pan over here, and the one that's pick- picked up is the one you get, and then you hit C to, to select it, and then <laughs> just keep. Throw them away. Just throw them away. I, yeah, I, I, I just, I just love that hand. I think that's like the, that is the perfect example of not doing something photoreal, but something not too cartoony. It's sort of like in between, so you get mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, it fits the style of the game perfectly. So, if you if you look up to the top side there, let me see if I can point the camera up there. There's clearly something up there, okay. but there's no way to get up there. So I guess you have to like, uh, is there like a jetpack on this level or not? Uh, well, uh, you can unlock the levels, and you can you can select levels later. And I, I don't know if like if you take a save game and then you manually select a level, maybe you can get back there. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that'd be interesting. That would be a nice little Easter egg if they did that. Or you just have to fall down from the right spot somewhere in the level from above, and you can get there. Mm, I don't think so. Not here. Anyway, oh, and yes, and you. As you observed earlier, there is a map. So what you hit by holding down C and then pressing uh, stop. So you might, yeah, you might be able to figure out like where that is if that's. Uh... So you can zoom in and out with the shoulder buttons, and then or you know, it just could be something they, they want you to think there's more stuff up there that you can't actually get to. I mean, that's well, that's I mean, a fairly common thing. I mean, invisible walls. Well, it, it except this one's what... justified because you can't jump that high. So yeah. 
but yes, uh, I, yeah, that's also they had a nice three D map that which which was really helpful sometimes of finding I think like now, was things it, did you this missed. Come, did this come out before or after Descent for the PC? I think this came around around the same time as Descent. Okay, on the PC. Um, but yeah, this was that was another first you know six degrees of freedom engine you know. Mm-hmm. So it's like instead of you so said, I guess I guess by six. That was always like kind of a dumb term because it's like, okay, so you can translate on all three axes and you can twist on all three axes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whereas like in Doom, basically you can translate on two axes and sort of on the up-down axis and you can only twist on one axis mm-hmm. um, because the, because it's not really, they're not really rendering the world in 3D. It's It's a 2D kind of trick. Yes. Yeah. And even you can't even, for instance, like you couldn't even tilt your head in Doom if you wanted to. There were some, and some engines like that are based on the Doom engine can do. They will like fake a head tilt just by, by kind of skewing the whole screen, like mm-hmm. left or right. But you, if you look carefully, it's not. You'll notice it's not really the same thing as if you were, you were twisting your head. And that's the other thing that's. Um, I've. Oh, you can also do a backflip. There's also a button combo yeah, for so doing if you a backflip. Hit, um, so yeah, you can like turn completely around by hitting C and then holding down, tapping the left shoulder button when it does this. And that makes, <laughs> more, that martial makes, arts that makes more sense when you do it in some place that has a ceiling that you can tell the orientation that's going on of your mm-hmm. head. But yeah, it's, uh, and that, and yeah, uh, if you can find like a real, well, a really, they did this really well in the, in the, the sampler level. And I, if you can, I don't know if you want to do this sometime, but if you back off a ledge, mm-hmm. Uh, and it's high enough up. What happens is the camera will like tilt back mm-hmm. as if you're falling backwards, and looks up to like where you were falling from. And that's like this is like the only game I've ever seen that does this. Uh... Um, in the sense that it models the head motion. Hmm. Most other games like like Doom because they don't have a full 3D engine, they'll just bob the they'll just translate up and down a little bit and walk. Because a lot of people turn it off because it kind of makes them sick, you know. Yeah. So it's you're like you're either like well, in a it, wheelchair. It, what it does it screws up my aim. Either in a wheelchair, or you feel like you're on this like uh, boat on the ocean, kind of rocking up and down. Whereas this one, they keep it smooth as you're moving forward. They don't do much in the way of head bob, but they will tilt the camera left and right as you're taking turns. Mm-hmm. And then if you fall off something, it'll it does that tilt up as, like to give it look like you're falling back. And I haven't seen anybody ever do that in a 3D game until Mirror's Edge came out, when they were fully into like modeling you know, what your head would see. And huh. then and people saw that, they're like, oh my God, that's so awesome. It's like, you know, realistic. I'm thinking, I've seen that before. And... Damn it. Like, like yeah, if you're, if you're willing to do that, because you didn't take hardly any damage for doing that. You only took like two damage. If you want to do that again, but back off it, and you can, I can, you can show what, show yeah, what that looks like. Yeah, uh, Go up to the top. Yeah, let's back up here. Wall? If you want to back off it, and I can show you what I mean. And it's very subtle too. It wasn't like, and the same thing with like the the, the Bruce Lee kind of backflip that he does when you when you press that button combo. It's mm-hmm. like, it's they put that in there because you know that's a a it's a common thing that like need to turn around quick. That some some PC games have that as like a button combo. They turn around 180 yeah. degree quick, All right, so and let's they probably here. did that. And they said, you know, it'd be cool because we can if we actually <laughs> modeled you doing a backflip and the camera went the right way. All right, let's see if I can fall off here. Yeah, <laughs> so like it does that subtle like look up, and if and if you do it from a really high place, like it's like ah, uh, it's like like ah, oh, this is the last thing that King Kong saw, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now you just need to get out of here. But yeah, I was trying to dig up uh, some some info. Oh, not more of these. Here we have those. But... You only need the one. It's interesting that they an infinite weapon they let you and you can actually walk up those things. Yes. Kind of thing. Um. So yeah. So by oh, multiple can you jump up there. Yes. In fact, I, I was able to successfully do that earlier when I was trying to figure this out. Um, hey, early three D puzzles. It's like uh, oh, is that maybe the other side of what you thought? I can't get up there. That's the other side it, you were seeing. It's, one of those? It, well, I mean, there's two more just like this, except they don't have like stuff that you can st- stacked up so you can it's jump really- into it. But, I mean, if you look at the map... See, and when they had stuff like in uh, that 3D Jurassic Park game, Trespasser. Remember that little fiasco? Oh, um, no. It was, like, it, was a, 
it was like the whole idea was like it's really immersive and that was the whole big thing it was like you can jump on top of crates for puzzle you're solving puzzles and stuff because at the time yes that was somewhat innovative you know? <laughs> It's here's like yes, there's yeah. This is a case of like proving it's it's an actual 3D universe that they're in. And also, he can jump pretty high, can't he? Well, there's he's jumping. He's got like about a four foot double jump thing, but I don't know quite how well, to do it. Even looking at it, actually from that hole, either he is really short, or mm -hmm. it looks like he's able to jump like five to six feet. Well, now we could assume that's wait, lower I just gravity. Did that with no help at all. Wait, all yeah. right, hang on. That oh, oh, that's another thing. You have to. You actually have to have a running speed. Yeah, you, you I, can't apply velocity in midair. Yeah, they're they definitely um, these guys were three D slash physics guys, mm -hmm, and they mm -hmm. applied. And this is the first time I think this has really been applied to a a three D first game. person, a first per, certainly a first person shooter. I, and like I said, most people don't bother with any kind of real physics because mm -hmm. you get into the problem of like, okay, you jump, you you have your collision by you jump into a wall situation what happens you get you can easily get stuck in corners and stuff yeah. it's hard enough in 2d when in a, in a 2d engine like doom um uh, you know which is just faking the 3d but it's effectively you're traversing along a 2d map that getting right. stuck in corners now apply this to like real 3d collision detection which is really impressive mm -hmm. um no this, these a lot of there's a lot of hard problems there oh yeah just, this well just drawing like the the sorting problem yeah. Um, don't, don't talk to yeah they kept me started on the sorting problem well and doom it's easy because it's just a ray cast so. well they with doom doom they used a binary space partition uh do you think quake maybe because doom is just a ray cast they don't have to worry about sorting because it's like mm. there's no there's no polygons oh there. that's right no it's quake that's did the binary space yeah. partition mm -hmm. Because uh, Quake is a full 3D engine. This one, I, yeah, I'd be kind of curious because that's that's yeah, impressive yeah, to put Doom, all this stuff Doom on still a, did, yeah, it was, a little it was ARM processor. A map, yeah, you couldn't have a little ARM processor in here doing the 3D, just the 3D sorting problem, and that was one of the things. Uh, in like I said, we were trying to find. I was trying to find posts by the mm -hmm. the, the PO guys because I know I have some from posts that were on the internal 3DO uh, developer thing about. Mm -hmm. They talked about the development of this game. Another sign that they were like a garage developer. They were very happy to share uh, all the lessons they'd learned, sure. as opposed to a, a large company. Uh -huh. They're like, "Keep it to yourself." You know, yeah. <laughs> that's our that's our secret. That's our advantage, or whatever. If they discover something, they're very they're mm -hmm. not usually forthright about. You know, if they figure out something that nobody else has, um, we'll be to the market first. Yeah, yeah. but uh, they they were talking a great deal about the three D problems they'd solve and I would I know I have that but I just couldn't find it in time actually and I'm pretty sure I know where it was. it was it's in a zip archive and I was having trouble opening it before it came over here and it's like yeah I did find one thing from Phil Lamb who posted on Rec Games Video 3DO in the mm -hmm. old archive where he talked about the sales of PO to the 3DO version versus the PlayStation version mm -hmm. they didn't give out exact sales numbers but he said interestingly enough the sales for both platforms was about equal huh and wow. which he said was really impressive for the 3DO version because the PlayStation had a much larger base and they sold about equal numbers. Huh. Um, wow, all right. Or I guess you could look at it as it didn't sell well on the PlayStation, but but actually my understanding was... I'm trying to get up there too. This is the bottom level. This yeah, this sold fairly, this sold fairly well. Um, at least well enough for them to do another, a second game. Um, well, good. But yeah, it'd be nice to... Right, one more time. This was one of those games where I, I had earmarked of like, oh God, please say these guys are still around and do an M2 version. Yeah. Yes, that would have been <laughs> like, good. Take this engine that's optimized as well as it is for mm -hmm. a console and then do it on the M2. It would really look awesome because then you'd have the perspective correct texturing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and it, it is actually easy to get disoriented because of the sliding textures. Yeah. Um, and our, uh, I don't know if you've been reading the Club 3DO uh, no. web page he's been doing some fairly regular updates oh, good for him. Um, and one of the things he talks about is uh, he's talking about games like Killing Time um, mm -hmm. and he's talking about how good it looks yeah 
Um, and one thing he incorrectly says, I'm not trying to rag on him, but yeah. he says it looks good in the 3D because 3 do has perspective correct texturing. No, sorry. No, it doesn't. Sorry. So, like, if you look closely along the wall here, you can see, like, if you get close the, to a there's, wall here. There's some lots of see, tricks that you can pull to make it look You'll close, see the way it stretches. It, yeah, see that stretching? Yeah. yeah. You might want to kill these guys. Yeah, first, let, me, so. let, me, let me get um, the... You might want to... Dodge the, the farts. The hoi polloi out of the way here. Dodge the curry farts, as it were. So. <laughs> so that, but yeah, so like if you, you can see where the texture is kind of stretching as it's both clipping and as he's... Yeah, and it's just like total distortion there. Yeah. Yeah. And that's because the, the 3DO or, and the Saturn and the PlayStation mm -hmm. 1 do not have perspective correct texturing, which means that it when it's drawing this essentially drawing it as a 2d it's a drawing in 2d space and it's stretching the texture in 2d space oh this is another cool example here where if you like go up here you will slide down yeah and that's also a good example of on the right side there of what what happens when you try to use a yeah a 2d texture and pretend it's 3d mm-hmm it doesn't it doesn't uh, distort the texture well, if properly. Well, if you're if you're not projecting it, if you're right. not doing perspective project correct projection, right? Then yes, you'll get that distortion. Yeah, because what it's doing when it's drawing is this, it's just linearly stretching the texture, which mm -hmm. isn't correct. What you need it to do is to do a nonlinear stretch of it to account because perspective is a nonlinear projection. Right. So, um, the it's hyperbolic, in fact. Yes. Yeah. So and that's that was like the big thing that was added for like the M2, the N64. I think was the first console that had it because um, hey, silicon graphics, SGI guys. Um, but yeah, so but the reason, but PO looks much worse on the PlayStation in terms of the textures and and such because um, the, it's the same issue, but because the way the the 3DO renders everything as quads, so everything is a essentially is a rectangle that's being stretched. Yes. And if you think about it, a quad in a game like this works pretty well for things like wa for walls, um, because walls tend to be at right angles and they tend, walls themselves tend to be quads. They tend to be, mm -hmm. you know, rectangles. Yeah. Whereas on the PlayStation, to do that, to do every one of those panels, instead of where there's one quad there for like each one of those gray panels there, mm -hmm. it would have to be two triangles. Right. And the problem when you don't have perspective correct textures, the linear distortion makes the triangle seem very, very obvious. You saw this a lot in Ridge Racer, the, the, yeah. one of the earliest ones, where yeah. like the, the, you'd suddenly see this like triangular distortion on, right. on a high Well, what you'll see line. is basically on the diagonal of each of the, yeah. on the place anyways, each of the diagonals, and that's also why there's very little detail on the center of those things. Mm -hmm. You would basically see what, anything that was along the center diagonal look like it was uh, traveling along that diagonal. Like it would start like in the lower left corner and then mm -hmm. go up to the, lower, the upper right corner. Right. As as you're going, as you uh, just move through space, and it's very obvious on the PlayStation. It's less objectionable on the, the 3DO and the Saturn because they're quad based, mm -hmm. but uh, the PlayStation is triangle based, which is good for lots of other reasons. It's actually that's a, actually an easier way to do 3D in the sense of it makes things like sorting a lot easier if you have triangles. Can but, do, yeah. Um, but also it means you can um, break up um, polygons pretty easily. Yeah, you know, arbitrary. But then, yeah. like, but for stuff like this, though, most everything is a quad anyway. And mm -hmm. if you start with a quad, you know, roads are naturally quads, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, and you can see here, the whole map is built out of giant, giant yeah. rectangles, you know, essentially <laughs> quadrilaterals. All right, we're ready to head so, to the next well, level. Yeah. Here? Well, actually, one po one point I wanted to make on that is so. Although 3D didn't have perspective correct textures, that ceiling looks pretty good. Yes. Well, if you subdivide enough. Base, then you know you can you can paper over the worst of it. In fact, Quake right. software renderer is not perspective correct. It only right. does it only recorrects like every sixteen pixels or every eight pixels or something like yeah. that. The so, yeah, the software. And render. so if you know what to look for and you move around, you can see you can see some slight distortion in places. But if but if you but the point being, if you subdivide it enough, right. it will look pretty pretty good. Right. So yeah. apparently, I'm supposed to walk into one of these things. I think uh, you can only well. I think you can only walk into the green one. The other ones, can you walk? What happens? Well, the other. In? Well, when I walked into the green one, I ended up in kind of this kind of hard to hard to play level. But okay. are you seeing that this is the that's the, you think that's the only one that's working? I thought so, but okay, but try the red one. Let me try the red one. 
No, 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 not the wed one. And it seems you're right. Yeah. Okay. So I guess we'll go to the green one. But uh, the wibbling green one. Oh, yeah. Go. I, so the other thing is, like, you when I say you model there, <laughs> if you walk up that ramp, you oh, uh, this one back. Yeah. You, you you just if you let go. If you're not actively okay, pushing and, upward, you and just... And now if I let go of the joy pad, I'm not touching the joypad slides, at all. They modeled it as a physics simulation. He slides down on his own accord. It's like... <laughs> yeah, no, they the... spent a lot of time with that. Yeah. yeah. It's like real physics. He's not He's not freaking Spider-Man. He's not just clinging to any surface that he can, you know, travel along. So, yeah. Yeah. Again, those very... Uh, mm -hmm. Jump. <laughs> jump. Yes, I love it. What was the name of that... <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, and, yeah, these guys way the, far away. The per, and the perspective correct problem is also the reason why a lot of the floors are solid colors. Yes. Because the closer they are mm -hmm. to you, the more noticeable it is. And certainly on a flat plane like that, you would notice the issue a lot more. So yeah. it also speeds up rendering if they're a solid color, not yes, texture. It so. Yes, it does. So it only has to fetch the one, one source texel. Yes. Um, this does have an auto aim ish kind of thing. There she goes. And I guess like the uh, the blue ones are okay, but then like the glowing red floors, they hurt you when you jump on them? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, no. like, and so like, if you get to the jetpack, like I said, this is my favorite jetpack in all of first person shooters. Oh yeah? Just because like just movement on the ground, they modeled the physics of you traveling so you feel so like in duke nukem when you have a jetpack it really just feels like you have elevator shoes on uh, in the sense that you go up to a certain height you stay at that certain height mm -hmm. you know it doesn't really feel like you're in a jetpack mm -hmm. this once you get the jetpack it very much feels like you're flying in a jetpack and that you know you you do you dupe you you swoop and you dive uh -huh. you you bank realistically there's inertia like I said, in Duke Nukem, there's like no inertia in the jetpack. Mm, that's right. You have to use, you, it's, it's sort of I, like I, I raised my that, level up. You know? I call that um, pause drive. Yeah. Um, where basically you tap the button and you start moving, well, and you release the button and you immediately stop moving. Yeah. Um, and if and again, it's and it's, actually, um, it's, Monster Manor originally had that, and they said, no, you should like drift to a stop. And I said, okay. But uh, well, yeah. but I mean the other, I mean the other reason. That they do it is it's very simple in a in a fake 3D engine like Doom and mm -hmm. Duke Nukem. It's uh, I mean the way you do that you're not really there's not much to model in the jetpack except oh. uh oh you need to get that ladder uh, yeah, yeah yeah that's a ladder by the way <laughs> ow 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 yeah there's a lot you of... need to uh, you know it's just be basically the easiest way to implement it is less like oh I'm in a jetpack change my height you know? mm -hmm. I go up I go down. <laughs> I am done. It's like a one line of code, and I'm done. So, <laughs> but yeah, so well, more than one line, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and I just love the verticality of the levels in this thing, where it's just like so another one? Oh my God, it feels it glowy. feels like a it feels like a spaceship where gravity is a minor issue, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, no, I've got to actually meander over here. Oh, hi there! I didn't see you. I never could figure out this, if these are supposed to be females. These, well, uh, that's that's what the that's what the scream of pain sounds like. Uh, the I've never gotten close enough to one. I mean, I can see it's wearing a thong, essentially. Uh, I hadn't noticed and, actually, t to be truthful. And it almost looks like it's hard, to, but it's like, it's like an orange on orange. You know, their orange skin with the mm. what they're clearly wearing. If you, when they walk away, you can clearly see they're wearing something that looks like a thong. It's like, are they also supposed to be wearing like a bikini top or something like that? Mm-hmm. Again, I think they, I think these, these guys initially had somewhat juvenile tastes when they started out, mm -hmm. and like I said, after that sampler, they got a little bit. People said it's like, okay, guys, it was funny for the first three seconds, the farting noise, <laughs> but it didn't even last to the the demo level. So you should really tone it back if you're gonna, because you know this game is fairly long. Um, there's a lot of yeah. levels to it, and like I said, it's a really great progression and. You know, they they had to be careful not to turn off people early on. And mm -hmm. I think that was maybe part of their problem, like what a lot of people don't 
don't uh, make it through the, this game is just like early on the the levels aren't as strong as I mean it builds great it builds gradually mm -hmm. but I think they need to grab people a little earlier. Right. Well, but like I said, it's like one of those games where it's like you know, luckily this was at the time when you know, buying games were games were expensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, oh, you're right. It does have a thong. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Seeing up close, I, yeah. I think that's supposed to be a. Okay, an alien you weren't female. imagining it. Uh, we're uh, yeah, we're definitely in the. Uh, like I said, I think Beavis and Butthead and Heavy Metal were like their biggest influences on this game. <laughs> Oh, oh, yes. yeah. oh I ha ah, all right, that explains it. All right. um, there is a button I have to push to make this platform that I am standing on right now go up and down, which is how you get to the ah. uppermost levels of this thing. Yes. Yeah, and these are just like really original level designs, too, that they have here. And yeah, and when they're and then when they're talking about the porting of this mm -hmm. to the PlayStation on the developers network, they came to, you know, the conclusion was like, it was kind of a wash between, because there was, the, there were people who saw this game on 3D and they really wanted it on the PlayStation. So, oh, you can, you, you'll be, some would be so much better on the PlayStation. The PlayStation mm -hmm. is so much more powerful. And I was like, and this conclusion was, the, the main developer's conclusion was like, well, you know, they do different things differently. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it ends up being a do. wash, and but, you know, is that they could get a, a higher frame rate out of the PlayStation, but not significantly higher. Mm -hmm. And yes, it could transform the the polygons faster, but they had to deal with double of them because everything was quad based yes. on this. So they had yes. so now they had double the number of polygons to deal with. The other issue is they had to spend a lot of CPU time and a lot of blocking CPU time uh, sorting. Mm. And they figured out that the cell engine could be made to do a basically free sort of the cells. I would really love this. If you can find it. I will find it. And they, they went to this, this. I hope I've saved that particular one. Um, mm -hmm. But yes, I remember. It, basically, it was. Oh, it's, that's right. Because they, it's, a, they, it's a, a bucket sort. It's a bunch of null. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So they basically. Yeah. My, my memory was they made two 256 li, uh, lists. Mm -hmm. uh, lists with 256 items. So basically, the upper eight bits and the lower eight bits of the Z sort. Mm -hmm. um, and then they took like their Z value. Mm -hmm. And they then mapped it as the index into each of these lists. And it was right. basically a pen to the end of the list. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then they did a second. So they did for like the lower, the least significant eight bits. Mm -hmm. And then they ran over that cell list again, mm -hmm. did again in, for the upper eight bits. And then what, they're, what they ended up with, and this apparently you could do this. I'm not familiar with the, the cell engine, but apparently you could do this pretty much entirely on the cell engine. It was almost like a, a, its own little program on the cell engine. Huh. Um, the way the list would work and then they basically just use that as an index you so then they get the most significant eight bits and they would go that would go into another 256 list and so what they ended up with that final list mm -hmm. was the sort was result. already in z or in the correct z order and then they just pointed it at you know the engine and said and list and just ran out the entire c versus they had to on the on the PlayStation, they had to do this entirely on the CPU on the PlayStation. Hmm. And they basically had to stop dead tracks and do this on the, they had to do this like at the end of everything. Mm -hmm. Whereas like on the cell engine, apparently they could sort of do this as they're going along hmm. fairly easily. Um, at least for the first, for the least significant eight bits, it worked, worked out that way. Um, too far away? I think she's too far away. Uh, oh, hey, die feeder moss. What is it? <laughs> I don't remember the bats. Yeah, they're a big pain. Uh, so I played this earlier in an oven at 250 degrees. <laughs> so, an, oh, what is that? That's a teleporter. Oh, cool. Teleporter Her, takes you to. They should have made that a much different color than that because against that, it's very nearly the same. Hey, Lou. Okay. Now, now, you, get a, now you get a range weapon. Uh, now well, we have, a range weapon with... Now we have a proper weapon. Yeah. And do, proper do, ammo. Do, 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 do. Okay. Kind of a buck, Damn, Rod kind of a buck Rogers uh, blaster there. Mm -hmm. Where are you plugging that into? What's with the extension cord on that? <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't talk about but, uh, but yeah, so they said, you know, sorting was essentially free on the 3DO, but it was one of their bigger CPU hits on the PlayStation. Hmm. Uh, of course, this, this was back in the day when sorting was a huge problem, as opposed yes. to nowadays, it's just, ah, oh, use a Z-buffer. Yeah, Z-buffer. Z -buffer. 
there's yeah no sor sorting is what killed me on um, on the 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 prior project I couldn't quite uh, the planet hopper yeah All right. Uh, then the other thing I talked about was the textures. All the textures on the 3DO were 32 colors, 5 bit. Mm -hmm. So they had to knock those down to 16 colors for the PlayStation. That's nice. why the PlayStation looks a little blockier. And I think their textures also had to be a, a power 2 size, mm -hmm. um, which also made them appear they couldn't get quite the right sizes in a lot of places. So they tended to be either stretched out more than they should be, mm. or they looked oddly stretched in terms of like their aspect ratio. So they said visually it looked it looked richer on the 3DO. It had mm -hmm. less of the stretching issues. It had less of the it, the colors looked much richer. And and I think they said I think the average said was like it was running at like 20 frames a second approximately on the 3DO and mm -hmm. maybe like 24 on the PlayStation. Yeah, something along those lines. But then again, they said you know it would it would be an interesting thing to try. Would be like okay, take the PlayStation textures mm -hmm. and put them back on the 3DO and see if they get a, a speed increase as well mm. after they've knocked them down in size and made, you know, made them power twos and knocked them down to four bits. And that would be interesting. Because that, that happens a lot. I, we've had that in other games I've worked on or similar games at companies I've worked at where, like, say, the first year the, the 360 was out, they did a 360 version. And then they did of it. this? No, not this. No. Sorry. No, no. <laughs> of a game. Just a, a game. A game, a game that shall rename game. nameless. All right, sure. Then they... Went and did a straight port to the PlayStation mm -hmm. 3, which is actually really easy to do because, you know, uh, they both have PowerPC processors and they're mm -hmm. both basically internally the same DirectX architecture kind uh -huh. of thing. And then, you know, their 30 frame a second game, when they ported it straight to the PlayStation, yeah. became a 0.5 frame per second game. <laughs> Uh, so then it's like, okay, so we need to optimize for the GPU on the PlayStation, which is weaker than what's on the 360. And maybe we can see if we can use the cell engine and all this stuff and mm -hmm. dumb, massively dumb down the shaders. And then they finally, you know, after a massive amount of optimization, they got it running at 30 frames per second on the PlayStation. And then they would turn around and take that same version and port it back to the 360. Mm-hmm with all the, the dumbed down shaders and yeah, yeah, the yeah. other optimizations they made. And lo and behold, it's running at 60 frames a second on the 360. <laughs> mm. And of course you can't release that version because then you have this wonderful internet outcry of like, why did you dumb down the PlayStation version? It's like, no, <laughs> we took the 360 version, we dumbed it down and then we poured it back to the 360, we poured the dumbed down version back to the 360 and now it's, you know, faster on the 360 yeah it's like it's like microsoft must have paid you to do that it's like mm, no <laughs> no not this time no sorry were that the case we would love that because we can get some extra money out of it. but no they don't do that sony and microsoft don't pay to, to sabotage the other guy they pay to make their version not suck. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, so it's like <laughs> Which isn't all that surprising. Yes. Whoop. Yeah. Alright, is there... There's okay. got to be health around here somewhere. Considering how weak these guys are, how did you suddenly... There is. There's some health. Now the... The, the items don't show up on a 3D map. That would be like the one thing I would... So, wait, is that the teleporter? Oh my god, there? oh my god. That's how you change your shoes? Oh, Jesus. Up in the left corner there. So, barefoot? No, no. So, ah! Man, what the hell? Well, those are your jumping shoes, obviously. <laughs> when did I get those? You obviously picked them up at some point. I forgot, I'd forgotten all about the jump, because, yeah, when you get the jetpack, then you'll get, uh, so, like, so that's how you get over to the. Uh, well, the teleporter's over there, right? So shouldn't you? Yeah, put the teleporter's over there. The, yeah. So shouldn't you put but, your jumping shoes and get over there? Your jumping shoes. Uh, stop being. Uh, I'm being picky. You Actually, can, I want to get back up there again, but. Um, so jump up there, with your jumping shoes. <laughs> ah. There's this, huh? Yeah, so there's this, which apparently you're supposed to shut off somehow. And if you stand on these... 
Oh, look, there's the jump pads. You see little, see that little red thing in the distance? Yeah. Oh, who's shooting? Who's well, shooting? You obviously opened up something. Ah. Well, he can't be over there. He's got to be the other way. <laughs> oh, there, what the hell? I killed you. Well, his fireballs say otherwise. Anyway, so, yeah, there's... So you're supposed to get into the little jumping shoes and then jump on those directions? He's still around. No, it's a completely different guy. Oh, wait. I don't know. Hello. Anyway, uh, I was trying to figure that out earlier. Uh, it's like, you stand on these and you get this little indicator off in the distance. See? And I have no idea what it means. Uh, is it possible that every time you do that, he spawns? Is it possible what? Every time you stand on one of those, some guy spawns, because every time you've done that, some guy has spawned. So stand mm, on the other be. one. Yes, you just spawned him when you hmm. stood on that. And there's another one, too, behind you. Oh, hello. Trying to do some red mist there. But, yeah, and then there's that thing, which is pointing up. Oh, I'm going to try your idea. Oh, you just run really fast with them. Okay. So, yeah, I have no idea what those do. Apart from spawning guys. Well. So, but anyway. So run over there and, and jump into one of those things. Well, it disappears very quickly. So. Does it disappear, or does it only disappear when you hit the ground? Um, it it it, dis it disappears. In other words, if you get your running shoes on and do it, ah. can you get over? Well, all right, I'll give it a try. It seems odd that uh, you have two feet-based things. Get a running start. Yep. Get a running start. I did. You <laughs> did not. <laughs> oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Right. <laughs> uh, I see what you're saying. Oh, you did. You did not. All, right, all right. So let's aim for that corner again. That guy in the way. Turn those on. I'm probably going to sail right over it. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I just, yeah, I just fell in this hole is all. Well, did, the, did the thing even activate, though, when you went to, when you went there? No. no I mean, did, did you just not, did you jump over it as opposed to jumping on? I think on? I jumped over it, but... I, just, I mean, jump, and as, I mean, the, and the pad, it? the pad. Oh. I'm saying, did you jump over the pad and not hit it because you... No, the little, it's, no, the little red thing showed up when I stepped okay. on it, so... So anyway, but to get back up there, actually, it's probably just easier if I... No. Ah, shit. Shit, 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 Where is it? Wish you had those running shoes on now, don't you? <laughs> Super stretchy. Yes, there's an example of a texture that's stretched over too big of a polygon. Why? Get this, uh... Back up here again. All right, where is the uppy downy thing? Hey. I think it's over here. I mean, there what, it is. What, is the, what are those things? I don't know. I can't pick them up. I mean, if they're fuel, if they're like gun fuel, how come you're not picking them? You know, I, you're at it, 90, it, it, right? So. Okay. Nope. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's put these on. Careful. Take, take them off. Okay, is somebody still here? Yes, there is. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> nice shooting, Dex. <text. laughs> That's fine by me. All right, okay, now this we're... guy, is he up? Yeah, he's up. Now he's going back down again. Wait. Hold on. But have you been over to the other sides? The left and the right? Uh, no, I haven't, which is why I'm back up here. But can't you jump from where you're at? Um, not... It's a very thin gantry kind of thing, so... No, I mean... But like from that platform, can't you jump over okay, to the end? There we go. Uh, I don't 
don't think you can make, you can have made that jump. Totally. Mm, I've tried. I tried uh, earlier uh -huh. without uh, without much success. Okay, now somewhere Wait, around here. What's over, what's over the left? What? Up there. There's some health. Actually, yeah, that's what's wrong with me. I do need health. And that's. I'm full up on ammo. So ah, Let's that's see. what I want. Okay. And here's probably the best example of what problem with perspective correct texture is, is like that, that purple wall there if you're close enough to it it just yeah it just kind of it falls apart it's like they could have subdivided that a bit more but uh, especially now if you turn like right now it's like, yeah Whoa! yeah it kind of goes yeah that's, that's stretching yeah that's, that's just, non that's just wrong. whoa who's texture? shooting dude where'd you come from well okay dude where's my car um all right so I am going to save the game at this point. Oh, um, they let you save mid-level? Sure. That's something. S some th something I didn't do. Yeah, go ahead, rub it in. Uh, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> what does? Because down here, so we've got this little gantry with a hole in it. Okay. And then, come on. There's a little something down here. So okay. On to, and I haven't. So I'm curious as to what that might be all about. So I hear the I hear the heart music playing. It's opening up. Oh, this is. Uh... This is what. So I guess a little look down. You can. It's a little. They have a lot of these in, the, in this game where these they're like these little cubes that open up. You might want to. You're gonna fall into that hole, but look down. I am looking down. It's as far as down far as, as I can, can look. look. Uh, as far as I can look. Well, can you get over to the other side? Get, into, get, get into the middle. No, and not don't fall down. Forward, move forward, move forward, move forward. All these all these things move. Okay, great. And you stand. Well, no, look down. Now. Look okay, down. Let me look down. let me get over so I can see more. Look down. <sighs> No. Yeah, can't quite see what's down there. <laughs> well, you can just fall down there, but then you're trapped forever, aren't you? No, because the, the floor is made of the same stuff. Oh, okay. Well, just make sure you fall down not on top of whatever it is that you can't see. Ah. You just picked it up, whatever it was. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, is it, a, <laughs> I love is it, it like, a weapon? Just don't fall down on the thing you can't see. <laughs> That's of course where you immediately fall down. So yes, it's. Uh, well, I was afraid of like having the. Uh, yeah. Why so you can't really? All right. Why so are you look? All right. I was go. Why, why, why are you looking? Oh, you bastard! Yeah, I was like, why are you looking where you're not gonna fall? I was like, why are you? Just... <laughs> Where's the ladder? Come here. Dirty so and so. <laughs> You know the floor moves, yet you don't look at it it's to see if you're going to fall. I <laughs> I'm stupid, okay? Why don't you look the... All right. So, at this point... Is there a ceiling fan up here? What is this? <laughs> All right. So, at this point, I'm not really sure what to do next. Um, however, well, that... Um... I, ever, what happens if you jump across the little uh, hole... You know, um, that was going to be the next thing I tried. Um, <laughs> it seems like an, it seems like an obvious one to me. <laughs> because you've looked all the way down down here, right? So you just need to teleport back up to the top. Yeah, except I'm in the far corner of the map, mm -hmm. so I've got to actually okay. make the trip. Yeah, but you got these nice ladders here. Take you all the way to the top. Well, the ladders the, are quite forgiving. The uh, moving platform there, you can jump on right, stop. That platform's moving up, right? So you can just jump yep. onto that. So. Mm -hmm. How very convenient to the aliens to make all these wonderful. Uh... <laughs> no, this is your ship. This the is aliens ship? have taken over. Yeah. This is supposed to be still inside your ship. Yeah. So can't you just a? Can't you, can you drop down on top of that little thing? That's um, what I'm planning on doing. Yeah. And we'll do that from over here because it's closer. Huh? So we'll Isn't walk it right over. in the center? Isn't it right in the center? No, it's not quite right in the center. It's sort of left justified. Wow, that 
that's what I mean. No, no, no. I mean, you're talking about that gantry right there. Yeah. Yeah. So I need a little bit of a boost, so... Shoom. Sponge. <laughs> Did he say sponge? <laughs> ah. Ah, what happened? What? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, okay. Now this one I remember. Well, somewhere nearby there's a thing. Damn. Oh, hit, yeah, hit yeah. that switch, yeah. <laughs> Shooting works. Hmm, so apparently they can bump into you and knock you around. You might want to... Want to keep your back to the wall? <laughs> They're all over the place here. Jeez. Oh, that's what that does. Hmm. Oh, fresh ammo. All right, so check your corners. Check your corners. So those those that switch opens those little cages up essentially. Oh. Your health is pretty low. Damn. Uh, you, yeah, you just yeah don't you might not want to flip those anymore. Uh. <laughs> Seems to be at the bottom of this. Yes, you are. Yeah. You might want to, uh, yeah. It's a jetpack. Yes, jetpack. You're gonna, you're gonna need that to get out of here. And it won't pick it up. Can you shoot it? Or you already have it. That would be the thing. Nope. Change your feet. Change your feet. Nope. Nope. What about the? Almost out of ammo too. Yeah, we're, I'm gonna get killed. Almost out of health too. Uh, <laughs> Is that a ladder? It looks that way. Okay, what's you can here? back yourself up the ladder, can't you? Uh, I don't know. See, this is the problem with sliding textures: is it looks like it's moving when it's not. It's actually attached to the wall. It does not look like I can back up the ladder. All right. All right. All right. Eight health. You're going to have fun here. Get the health. To your right, to your right. Whoa! Look, I'm disoriented enough, all right? You're in the bubble room. Sounds like, I'm in, sounds like I'm in an episode of Space 1999. You might have to switch up your, your weapons, eh? What? Hello. All right. I think these guys are teleporting in and out, maybe. Or they're falling down from above. Okay. There's so much trouble looking around this. All right, you what's sure, up? You sure you can't uh, pick up the health uh, jetpack? Smeg just fell down on the other side. All right. I'm dun, walk dun, up this dun. spine here. Come here. Okay. So jump. Yay, health. Health, we love you. Oh, teleporter. <laughs> what should this one screw you over in any way, shape, or form? Okay. 
Get the help, Luke. <laughs> oh, now we're in a totally different one. Ow, 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 where are you? <laughs> you you kind of need that, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting the uh, the uh, proximity audio that they have there. Ooh, Heffel. It's like, whoa, wait. Did I just clip. Oh my god! There's a hidden room. Means you can drop down. What's down below? Okay, how you put this? A stairway. Is it possible that that's what the music is? It's kind of like a secret, like secrets nearby. Very cool. Of course, you could probably find this with the old 3D map, but... Uh, mm -hmm. Ooh, that's not necessarily uh, the case. What is the 3D? Yeah, what does it... Hmm. Whoa, -ho -ho. Whoa -ho -ho. Although this actually just might be just how you literally get out of the level, since it looks like this is <laughs> how you get out of the level. God, look at that menagerie there. <laughs> Good luck cleaning that out. All right. Might want to, yeah. <laughs> They come in pairs. Check six. <laughs> Do you really think they just put one on the right side and not one on the left side? I mean, it's like level designers love symmetry. It's a... Hmm. What could any, anything dangerous in here? What do you think? Ah. Well, other than the fact that you you have to watch where you're jumping. Yeah. Oh, it's oh. And this would be a good example of how you should use the jetpack, but but I don't have it. Are you sure? That's yep. the way you're switching. Your I thing. walked right over it. You saw me. No, no, walk. no. But I'm saying is like, you sure the way that you activate the jetpack is the same way you activate the the feetsies thing? Other side. Damn it! He's circling behind me. Just you might have to. That's a case of where the uh, a frying pan might work better than that thing. I want to look at it. But, uh, yeah, I think you have to be mm -hmm. careful where you step here. <laughs> yes. And we're out. Knife. Right. Knife. <laughs> there you go. Great, now I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> what? Something tells me you're look, supposed to go, like... What, look down? What? Other than looking down? Let me come to the... Who ever thought this was a good idea for a 3D platformer? <laughs> oh, there's a there's a switch there. Off to the right. Just barely sticking out. I think you have to yeah, look up to hit him. <laughs> See if you can just peek out to the right and hit that switch. Plus hit him. Oh, for an analog stick. <laughs> Thanks for walking into it there. Uh, I don't think so. You sure? It looks like you can. I uh, it's, it's it's really. I, I realize. It. I suppose. Well, I suppose you could jump out to that one platform and then just uh, oh yeah, so think... carefully and then aim oh well, so carefully. Well, let's see. Uh, <laughs> give ourselves. Uh, what? You don't think so? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Save, save, your, save your game. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Seriously? No space left. <laughs> Want to get out the old uh, game guru? <laughs> <laughs> no, that we're, we'll be fine. No. All right. So just kind of like. How much leap, space leap, can these save faith? games take up? I mean, okay, I guess they got to save the state of everything, but it's like it'd be interesting to look at how big these save games are in this thing. Careful, careful, careful. Oh. All right. Uh, hmm. A little, little to the left, carefully on the platform. 
hit it from the front maybe a little bit the left no look down so you can make sure you don't step off it I hmm. think you can't hit on the side you have to hit on the front all right well I guess we're just gonna leap of faith here to let's see line up properly and then whoop. happily there's a wall there Lights on. All right. Hmm. Oh, all right. Is there anything in the room besides that? Not that I can see. I mean, like the end of the level? Um, like a teleporter, maybe? Or something? No, it just looks like something to fall in. So that one look. It looks like it looks one, like it's got uh, goo at the bottom. The one on the other side looks like. Is can you jump back? Out of that, because the one looks like the one on the right side it's is the got, one you want. It's got some stuff going on, yeah. So I believe you can. To... Oh, so carefully. Yes. Great. Look, look around. Wait. Oh, great. Now I'm hearing uh, the harp again. I, I do that to give them points for the beams of light there. No. See, that's a, that's a good use of uh, the cell effects there, the, the, the beam of light there. Mm -hmm. It's probably the same deal, I'm guessing, with this little switch. Mm, I'm thinking so, yeah. That would and make... I don't hear the guy, I don't hear another bat, so I think we're okay. Oh. Oh dear. There is no switch. There is no switch. You're just going to have to remember it. But is there anything? What? No, this guy flying around up above. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's on the floor. Ah, there's the end of the level. Just click it. Click it or tick it. <laughs> Dick. Oh. But it also kept him from hitting you. So, <laughs> well, know. alrighty then. All right. Twenty-one health and nothing to speak of in terms of weaponry. It's interesting that you didn't get the jetpack; that it wouldn't let you pick that up I for don't whatever. Pick it up. And I don't think I can get Unless back you... into that area. Yeah, go through. I'm sure, if you need a jetpack, they will give it to you as the first oh, thing. Oh, core. Hmm. This. This one, familiar. I think, might. This is the one where you see your ship from the outside, if I remember correctly. You get. This is where you get outside your ship, I think. Get to the health. Get to the health. Uh, do you see the health? I do not see the health. Yeah, I don't see how you get through this without a jetpack. Hmm. Well, it's probably around here someplace. Hello, there we are. Ah! <laughs> okay. Nothing the least bit dangerous about that. Now these things are ladders, huh? Um, it actually does look a bit like a ladder. Ladder-ish? Ladder-ish. You make a running jump at it? That's what I'm going to try for. Ah, no! no There's your... The ladders in this game are a bit like the pits in E.T. in the sense of you keep doing that. What the? I'm dead. You need to be on the other side of the... 
the ladder for this to work. Yeah, see what's going to happen is you're going to get to the top, and then it's going to put you're going to you need to translate. Yeah, I'm, you get trying, to the top. I'm trying. I'm trying to translate, but I, I took off my super shoes. So up, up, up! Can you grab it as you're falling? No. Nope. Oh. oh well. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> well, you loaded the game, so you can. Uh... Luckily, you saved the game, so you can load it. Though. You should be able to get that. How, how far in were we? Should be able to get that damn jetpack. I don't know what the deal is. Why wouldn't I don't you either. pick it up? Like I said, unless you already have it, and like the way you activate it is uh, different than the way you switch your running mode. If there's like another, I don't know. How do you? Is it the uh, stop button that you're using to activate the jetpack, or the? It's with the stop button I'm using to cycle between what's on my feet, hmm. um, which I and since in the demo, the. The jetpack also appears in the upper left corner. Yeah, I presume yeah. that it's the same thing. But I, you saw, I walked right into it, and yeah. it's just like, hmm, I don't know what you're doing. Thought, this is thought you already had it, or I don't know, you had to whack it or something. I don't know. I don't know. You had to like whack it with the frying pan. Frying <laughs> Ding. Oh, all right, sure. <laughs> Maybe you have to have your your shoes on when you do it or something. <laughs> Shuttle. Oh yeah, that's the one. Where yeah, you... there's the, the, a lot of these um dem these uh, self playing demos are actually. It, there's the jetpack. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> yes. Shells where you learn to dogfight. Mm. With very little with very little ammo. <laughs> <laughs> you can just have people convinced that you're playing this as opposed to <laughs> <laughs> nah. So a couple of guys, some guys from Sun, huh? Sun Microsystems. That's my understanding. Yeah. Huh. I wondering, yeah, I'm wondering if they're the same guys who were working on the um, graphics accelerator that uh, Sun had developed way back in the day. Possible. Yeah. Or there's like, yeah, workstations are boring, and Sun's not long for this. Oh yes, the gelatinous cube. <laughs> <laughs> Wondering how many takes they needed for it's like, yeah, okay, flame, gar flame gargle. Is another. Yeah. yeah, not there's, yeah, the flame effect's not the strongest one of the lot, I would say. But yeah, I mean, I guess so. They, they had enough time to record these mm -hmm. uh, playthroughs, I guess. Uh, yeah. Not a time, but got dim. Enough, what the hell? Or enough, uh, say, space on the disc since they don't have to deal with any, uh, mm -hmm. any FMV or anything. But yes, uh, the shuttle, the shuttle bay. If I remember correctly. Wow. That's I. Yeah, I wish we could find these guys and say, "How the hell did you do this?" Because this is pretty much pretty close to what I wanted to do. But I also be interesting to play this on the. On the 4 emulator and like crank up the processor speed and see how hmm. how smooth it would look. Hmm. And, uh... I need a new machine before I can run the 4 emulator. Really? Yeah. No, it's I realize machines are cheap now. And, you know, <laughs> no, I just no, I just um, uh, spent my stipend on a new gateway. So. Oh, oh okay. Not a, not. <laughs> Gateway, you mean something else? You yeah. say gateway, I thought you'd like gateway PC. What the hell? No, 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 no. <laughs> the cow box or whatever. <laughs> no, 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 no. A new network gateway. So it's built out of uh, PF Sense, which yes. is a free BSD based. Uh... It's interesting to see how this. Uh... Do like a, a good comparison between this and the, the PlayStation version. I wonder like how many of the things like did they have to get rid of the transparencies and they, so they so they did it on the PlayStation One but not the PlayStation Two. Yeah, why would you do this on the PlayStation Two? Uh, I mean, they, they were I'm pretty sure they were as a company they were gone by the time the PlayStation Two uh, got around. Uh -huh. They did like I said, just did the two games and mm -hmm. then they were I'm pretty sure gone. Yeah, that's the character you're supposed to be playing. Yeah. And this is I love it because like once you get all the uh, yeah this is what you're basically carrying around with you because yeah, you can have all these weapons at one time it's like Nate <laughs> Wang yeah Brian yeah. Russ Flukhaupt what a great name additional programming yeah so it's like basically four programmers mm -hmm. what you got there I see if I recognize anybody like from later in life and you, I also love the fact that you see like a lot of the same names over and over again mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Phil Lem's the guy who no, posted I was a lot I listening to Al Alcorn, somebody from, like, um, what is it? Uh, Additional Chief. creative inputs. David Liu. Marty Chin. That name is really familiar. The sam they, say they mentioned the sampler demo. Mm -hmm. The whole 3DO crew. Oh, okay, wow. Right. <laughs> Rec Games 3DO, 3DO Channel and IRC. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you can see where mm -hmm. people, where the feedback from the demo, the sampler they mentioned mm -hmm. specifically is like, yeah, tone down the fart noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do a, I didn't, I, I thought I brought the sampler, we'll have to do a sampler. Because that's interesting to compare, like, games that showed up on the sampler and then showed up, like, a year later, or mm -hmm. more, like, Offworld Interceptor is a good example of that, which mm -hmm. was, like, on the sampler was just Orion Offworld, and what well, seemed really, really fun, and then mm -hmm. the final game was like, this is not what I imagined at all the final game would be like, so. Someone must have thought, oh, I need to overproduce this. I mean, basically, it was a, yeah, it was a, it was basically a tech demo on the, uh, mm -hmm. on the sampler. Yeah. There really wasn't the, the shooting and the gameplay and stuff. Right. It seemed more, you know, more like, oh, this is fun, driving over this train. What will they add to it? And then it's basically a train-based total eclipse is kind of what it ended up yeah. as. So, which was sad because like it was way more fun just to, to just to drive <laughs> the, the vehicle around, around and yeah. go four wheeling. Yeah, you know, drive around on this height map. We yeah, exactly. It was really fun. Oh well. Is there any, I wonder if anyone's done a mod that you can take a four-wheel drive uh, vehicle through um, Skyrim. To totally, oh, you're just totally terrible. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> the modding community in Skyrim was just. Although, oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, Here's... yeah, this is my favorite uh, animation, <laughs> weapon animation. And then. White. <laughs> I was wondering, like, how they got. How they had space for all these. Because those are huge sprites. Uh -huh. Trudeau does not have that much memory, relatively speaking. And I remember just that the Killing Time guys had a hard time fitting all the the weapon mm -hmm, mm -hmm. animations uh, in in memory because really, yeah, they were, that that had come up. And then I remember when I was playing PO, I was like, my God, they wait. I mean, was it? It's like two megs of regular memory and one meg of graphics memory. Is that that's how correct? That yeah. yeah. So that's not a lot. I mean, for you know, all the textures for the levels and sound effects and different monster animations. And then you have these huge sprites. Yeah, these huge, and then lots of them. Just, yeah. I mean, all this. And lots of animation on them. Especially, and you have know, that big hand, you know, just mm -hmm. wipes across the screen. Yeah, I just love how, you know, how 3D the whole thing is. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, it's not just like, uh, you know. It's definitely a game that takes advantage of the fact that they have a three D, a full three D engine. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's in space. space. Oh, and then yeah, this yeah. one I love the feel of this guy. It's like a Gatling shotgun yeah. kind of missile launcher. And then also the other, then I think the final weapon you get in the game is really awesome, which is the. BFG the guided the guided missile oh. where you launch it and then you'd steer it. Oh, the, so basically you go first person on the missile. Oh, I think they stole that for um, Unreal Tournament. Uh, yeah. yeah, because and it makes the Redeemer. It, it's, this it, makes yeah. the final boss thing ridiculously easy because uh -huh. you can just sit in this one hallway that he can't get to you. Mm -hmm. And oh, I don't I don't want it to be a fair fight. Yeah, and then you just fire missiles down the hallway, take a sharp you know, 180 mm -hmm. degree turn yeah. at the end and then go kill him. And it's mm -hmm. like, oh, it's like, you know, the only thing is like if you accidentally run out of ammo. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which can happen about the, if you haven't used your, uh, your ammo judiciously. I haven't, yeah. I haven't budgeted your ammo. Oh, wow. Yeah, like I said, the the jetpack wow, and this. Nice. Yeah, then you can get this this wonderful dog fighting. It's like, ha ha, I can fly, you can. <laughs> Except of course, that's why you have the bats then. Well, uh, Yahtzee agrees. Jetpacks make games more fun. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Everything would be improved with the jetpack <laughs> and a drill. I think a drill. And a drill. <laughs> yeah, I borrowed this from the guys in Night Trap. Like Doctor Giggles. <laughs> oh, he's throwing rocks. He pulled. I love how he pulled those rocks out of that uh, yeah. glass floor that he's on. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I want to know who's, whose hand, whose that hand is, is that? They got onto the scanner, onto the, the color yeah, scanner. It looks like it might have been uh, colorized after the fact. But yeah, it's just like, <laughs> put your hand on the scanner here, okay. And then, uh, we'll take out your fingerprints. So that you can... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now we're just watching the gameplay itself. Yeah, yeah we're so, watching the playing game gameplay itself. Damn. Oh, another guy flying around? Yes, there's uh, 3D, there's robots that fly around. I always thought they kind of reminded me of like, I keep going, you know, Vincent, no. It's like, <laughs> it's like the, are, are those... It's a cross between Vincent and Maximilian from the black hole, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned, as they kind of look like. Actually, they look, also look a little bit like um, the, the evil robots from uh, Sky Captain in the World Tomorrow. That could be. A little bit, a little bit. Like it's like a, to me, it looks like a cross between Vincent and Maximilian. Yeah, really like great, you know, the evil robot and the bad robot from the black hole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and these guys, when they made this, would have been the right age that that would be like yeah. an influence on their yeah. their design. Or, or or any anime you care to name. <laughs> Oh, space you think, age. It, you think wow, it's uh, nice. no? I don't think it's anything in particular. It's... Castle in the sky or something? No, no, something. no. Damn. But yeah, the jetpack, that's why I said, once you get to the jetpack levels, it's mm -hmm. just like fun, fun, fun. And it's like, well, I, I'm I'll just starting to get I'll to have the, to try harder yeah. then, won't I? Yeah. yeah, yeah. If we got the, the jet, so it's like, I didn't realize the jetpack you got it that early in the game. That's like the third level, so that's mm. actually pretty good, but you do have to... So you do have like, to convince most, the computer you, to let you pick it up. But again, most yeah. But most of the YouTube videos I've seen, like, people play this, they literally give up after the first level, because it's like, oh, frying pan, dumb. They, really? They're just like, oh, look, look at these guys. They're ugly. Listen, well, look, I, this is a walking well, butt? What the hell? Wolfenstein, you start with a pistol. Yeah. I mean, that's... Yeah, yeah by the time you uh, die... Well, that's a pistol and you're killing Nazis, so yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> supposed to, like, you know, space dogs and walking butts is a little bit, like, you know... <laughs> it's not it's not as, not as bad as, like, the frogs and mosquitoes in Daikatana. Uh, Daikatana. <laughs> worst, worst enemies ever. <laughs> start off the game. It's like I said, yeah, it's... That first level, it's like you lose people in the first level mm -hmm. if you're not, uh, not careful. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Who's but that? Yeah, I mean, this was just like, yeah, this was just a case you could tell it's like they did not have an experienced producer, and that was a good thing mm. in the sense of they're just they're making a game that they think is fun mm -hmm. that isn't following any of the conventions that yeah. isn't like the you know, hey, this was what was popular. Uh, this week, so start making that game. So that way, in two years, we'll have a game that's exactly like this game that was popular this week. You know? <laughs> which, which you see a lot of, where it's like, why are there suddenly all these God of War clones coming out? Well, because God of War came out two years ago, and <laughs> every marketing slash producer type said, we need a game like that. <laughs> so two years later, hopefully, it's still popular and hot. You know, <laughs> Heavenly Swords. Uh... Yeah. That's why there's multiple ones that come out at the same time, too, because everybody gives the same thing. Yeah. It's, like, you know. it's like there wasn't one, yeah. Like, why are all the Twilight clones, you know, suddenly mm -hmm. like, mortal instruments? Oh, oh and God. Well, and let's God, what was, not, what was the one with Jeremy let's not, let's, Irons? Like, let's not even acknowledge it exists. Okay. What was the one with Jeremy Irons and the uh, beautiful creatures or whatever it was? <laughs> was that what that was? With uh, him forgetting his experience on Dungeons and Dragons the movie apparently <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, oh this is the one yes this is the ah <laughs> yep that's and this is the only way you can see yourself in the game oh really yes and that's where you, and they actually do use that sprite of him like her, handing, holding every weapon. Uh huh. Like you know, eight weapons coming out of his. So, <laughs> so let's see if they if they do turn back and you can see yourself. <laughs> but you know, it doesn't have a very tight turning radius, so it's very hard. Ah. Uh, oh, it's, it's a bunch of those are the. Um, yeah, the gun emplacements. Yeah. They are annoying as all hell. <laughs> Two for one. Who? <laughs> Damn. Wow. Okay, so anybody who actually finished this game earned it. 
Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a shooter's shooter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is that's what you know. I just loved about it. Mm-hmm. It was very, you know, it was very fresh, very original. This is like, like I said, you know, you'd have to get into. This is definitely my favorite on the 3DO, and it's also what yeah, the... you can yeah go outside the the ship and go upside down. Six degrees of freedom, you can go upside down. But you pitch down into like a completely different area. Well, you're going through the force field, right? Or the you know, the plasma thing that would normally kill you if you fell out into space. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hell, I'll just fly that around. Or <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a game worth getting through the the initial levels and the mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you know it's like say oh it has slippery controls like there's a lot of it's hard to do slippery controls it's hard to do that you know in this uh -huh. type of game it'd be very easy if you did the you stop on a dime thing it's mm -hmm. like you know but they're tr they were trying like I said this is this is probably the until you get to Mirror's Edge this is the, like the only time I've ever seen anybody try and accurately model the physical movement of the character properly and like mm -hmm. their head movement so it's like you know where thinks you know something trust me something is not when somebody said no oh, Mirror's Edge it's innovative that did this it's like nope not really it's just something <laughs> that an you just do something that an obscure game did, did in <laughs> a generation earlier and then you know suddenly you're the thing <laughs> Once again. Okay, uh, end of that. All right, all, all right, 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 right. Well, all right, we've uh, we've started the machine uh, playing with itself long enough, um, mm. <laughs> but uh, nevertheless, thank you all very kindly for joining us. Uh, we might maybe we'll maybe we'll play letter levels or something. Uh, maybe we'll play letter levels, or maybe we'll get to figure uh, out how to get the jetpack, and yeah, maybe, or maybe I'll play letter levels, and that way you can get a chance to do a <laughs> well, you're, commentary you, without. You uh, remember more about this than I do. I, I didn't see any of those conversations on the news groups. Uh, but to, uh, and suddenly you're somewhere else. It gives me a chance to dig up. Oh yeah, those guys, those little like uh, <laughs> deadly bolas of death. <laughs> I, I I I love the the whacking metal sounds. Just <laughs> and then somewhere in space they have like the the light bulb from a uh, janitor's closet. If you look up there, if he uh -huh. back, backs up, look at the light bulb. Huh? In this futuristic spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> In the, in the rusting point? septic system yeah, of this, this futuristic, futuristic spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> lots uh, of lots of great detail. Oh yeah. The, oh my gosh. This is. I bet. I room. would not be surprised. I had to look up any of these guys worked on this kind of. We went to work at Insomniac because these are the kind of wild weapons you see like Insomniac's first-person shooters. Like it, they did Disruptor. They did Resistance. Fall uh -huh. Man. Where you, you just had these wild, wild weapons. Hmm. Including this guy. Yes. <laughs> <Ploing. laughs> wow. Right. Okay, so clearly we could watch this for a lot right, longer, yes. but uh, yeah. we've already taken. Well, we encourage you to do this to we, play this yourself. Yes. Go get, go grab, please buy. Go, please yeah. buy copies on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> legally and uh, uh -huh. like this copy, for instance, which will soon be <laughs> <laughs> complete in box. <laughs> <laughs> With shrink wrap? Yeah, we can do shrink wrap for you. Um, <laughs> Anyway, again, thanks very much for joining us, and we will see you next time. Okay.